We have to be fast. The battery's almost dead. We have to be fast. The battery's almost dead. Hey, hey, Reb here, Rebecca. <laughs> Just not Becky. And Albert. And Poppy's on his blanket throne. Okay, so I have been working on a long term kind of project here for you, an experiment. But of course, because it's me, I accidentally deleted the very first part of this. <laughs> it was unboxing the thing, setting it all up. Probably by far the most boring part of this, so that's okay. So what it is, is I decided that I wanted to try and be as self-sufficient as possible for feeding Nikolai and Rainbow, my Russian tortoise and my bearded dragon. And I won't be able to be completely self-sufficient for them during the cold weather months, but during the warm weather, I should be able to be mostly self-sufficient. Not for Rainbow, because she needs bugs, but for greens, which means for Nikolai and for partly for Rainbow. So I decided that I wanted to invest in an arrow garden, which I did. And so far, so good. I am on day, I think 25 planted in the arrow garden. So we'll just go. <coughs> I think my food is here. Okay, so pretend that I've unboxed this for you and set it up for you. It all was very easy. Poppy, that's quite enough. Annoying. Okay, so unboxing was simple. The only problem was that it came in three boxes. Amazon box, a box that the arrow garden was in and then the arrow garden box way too many boxes otherwise greatly packaged no problems no damage setup was simple okay and then from there it was just plug in and go and then it was awesome from there the planting was extremely easy and I will do, I think I'll refilm like how to plant it because that is something you probably will want to see. But after that, it's been just updates every once in a while on how fast things grow because they grow fast in an arrow garden. Oh my God. <sighs> so I planted dandelions and I planted now collard greens, but I'm also planning on using this thing for maybe some propagation for houseplant propagation, because I think it should work pretty well for that. I think I should be able to take a cutting and just kind of slide it down in one of the things that you normally would be growing seed pods in. I would think that it would do really well in there because the water is kind of moving all the time and you've got phenomenal light coming down. Also, I'm gonna try to grow maybe some, I'm trying to grow a couple of houseplant things from seeds. But the main thing is to do some seed starting of both collard greens and dandelion greens and maybe some of the other really good greens for them and then transplant them into planters for outdoors and then others I will keep growing inside uh, and then of course hmm. I don't know what that did to my recording when the phone rang gosh darn it <sighs> well, the sound may have just changed a whole lot. So during the winter, I'll just keep growing the plants in the arrow garden, harvesting from there, which is going to be spectacular. Okay, so let's move on with updates of growth. <sighs> there, I did it before my camera battery died. And now I'm going to go see if that really was my food delivery because I am starving. It was a crazy day at work. I had a homeless man show up in one of our buildings and get really crazy and hostile and threatening and I had to call the police and it turned out that he was cray cray and on the drugs on the drugs mm -hmm. and 
he's threatening the guy threatened he said he was going to come back every day from now through the end of summer and f with me but he didn't say f he said the real word personally he said i'm gonna f with you personally like, hmm, should be fun something to do okay all right let's get on with the show shall we okay so i was sick with the cocoa when i did this and you could not hear anything i was saying so i decided to do a quick voiceover and i sped this whole thing up too but it is a very easy process it's a touch screen and it walks you through the process you just set time date all of that and then you select what you're growing so i was doing seed starting so i selected that option and then it asks you what times of day you want the lights on and off for and for seed starting it's like 18 hours so you pick what time you want it on and off for and then you can pick other seed packs that you're growing or if you're growing your own things what you want growing so very easy quick and no hassle Planters grow pots by inserting them in the grow deck and set domes on pots. Okay, so what I did is pods are like this, the ones that are already pre-planted, they look like this. So I didn't want a bunch of these, so I opened them up. And I took out the seeds for the ones I knew I didn't want. And I'm going to put my own seeds in those. And then with the kit to grow anything, you get the thingamabob, the sponge, and the little case, and the little tops separately so and the only pain in the butt on those is that you have to iron the top on after you um, label what they are so I had to find my oh I had to find my iron oh the pump just turned on Oh, this is going to be not time. This is going to be M for Monstera. M for Monstera. ones that are already pre-planted they look like this so I didn't want a bunch of these so I opened them up and I took out the seeds for the ones I knew I didn't want and I'm gonna put my own seeds in those I don't know exactly what oh yeah you're not gonna be able to see don't know exactly what a white monster meant, but we it said to kind of go open it up a little about half inch down. I'm gonna put two seeds in each one.
Alright, so now put in there to me. I need to add my food. I accidentally bumped, I think, the thing about adding a head when I was supposed to be adding food. But I know the directions are on the back. Nine, nine and it says on here, nine pod models, two capfuls at startup. And you add it in the same spot. Why do they do this to my arthritic, arthritic fingers? <laughs> Got it. Two capfuls. That is the food. Okay. So the screen will show you where you're at with everything as far as light, water, and plant food. It tells you when to switch everything. And here we are, all planted up. Okay, we're going to do a little update on our progress with our new arrow garden. Today is day six planted. Get a look here, it tells you day six. Lights we still have going from about six to twelve. I think it's six thirty to twelve thirty. We're okay on our water level, and we don't need to add any food for another eight days. And I've been checking on them regularly. Remember I planted dandelion seeds and those monstera seeds that I was given. I haven't been seeing anything yet on the monstera seeds, but there are some pretty substantial things happening with some of the dandelions. Lots of little ones where we can see little plants starting. And that's kind of the norm, but there's one in here. Let's see a nice little plant. There's one that's just outshining the rest. I'll show you in good light over here. Look at how big that one's getting already. Nikolai over here is just sitting there staring at that arrow garden going, okay, grow baby, grow. <clears throat> I haven't seen anything popping up out of any of the monstera pods yet, but I keep looking. I thought I saw maybe one that looked kind of like, there's another big, big plant happening on a dandelion in there. Those are going crazy. I'll show you what some of the dandelions look like that I planted in, it's looking in one of the monstera ones and it looks a little different. No sprouts. We'll see. I don't know if those seeds are going to do anything or not. They were looked really dry. They were very large seeds. Okay. I'll show you what the seeds of the dandelions look like that I just put in regular soil. They have all sprouted. But they are very spindly like regular sprouts and just have those little tiny seedling leaves on them so they don't look at those nice compact little plants like we've got going in the arrow garden so it looks totally different and these were planted um, much before these were planted on um, 
leaves were planted on the 11th. And so these were planted before the Arrow Garden ones. But these are doing well too, so you can see. This is just a regular seed tray. And I put, I just moved it over with the light since I got the seedlings up. But they've been sitting next to the heat lamps on my bearded dragon's enclosure. So that's the update for dandelions and monstera seeds for day six in the arrow garden. All right. All right, we're on day 12 of arrow garden crop one. So let's see if we can see the screen without me in it. Okay. Day 12, still have the same light settings, water's still okay. We need to add food in two days. It's getting exciting here. So 12 days from seed planting, look at that dandelion plant. It's huge. And in these little greenhouse cups, we've got another one that's big. And lots of them that are coming along very, very nicely. Now, I took one of the little monstera seeds out because it was molding. And I didn't think that any of them were going to do anything. However, just today, I have... Oh, let's take off this and see if we can see. There is... Try to get light in there for you. A tiny little sprout. I am so excited about that. And it looks kind of like there's one in this one too. So I think that we have success in more ways than one. So once I know if those other monstera seeds are going to do anything. I'm going to plant some collard green seeds in a couple of those. But I want to give the monstera seeds a couple more days. And then I want to plant at least two of these cups with collard greens. And then we're going to let those dandelions get nice and big for Nikolai and Rainbow. Should we take a look at Nikolai? He was just outside for the first time all year and now he is exhausted and all curled up for a nap because it's only in the high 50s today. However, it is super sunny for the first time in forever and because it's actually sunny, I took the temperature gun out and checked the concrete and the grass and it was in the high 80s or even on the concrete up to 90 for ground temperature. So he spent, I don't know, 45 minutes running around. And I even found some baby dandelion plants and picked a ton of baby dandelion leaves. And he munched like crazy. I couldn't keep up. So he is going to be thrilled when these get big. So, oh, I should show you, I planted those seeds in just a regular seed tray the same day, and they are only this big. So you can see what a difference it is between the arrow garden and just a regular seed tray. So we're doing good. All right, next update to come in just a little while. All right, little arrow garden update. We are on day 22, and I'll just show you here, I added food a few days ago. I have to add food again in another eight days. I still have not added water. We are still okay, and we are having some great success with the dandelions. Check this out. <laughs> Look at how big this plant is. I'm not going to pull out Pull it out all the way because the roots are massive. But look at how big they are. 
I can't get over it. Um, this one, I don't remember. Let's see, dill. I had one little seed I must have missed because it's got a little tiny dill plant coming in with that one. But otherwise, they're doing great. Um, one of what I think uh, the seeds that I mentioned were labeled white monstera sprouted, but I think in the end it may have been one of the thyme seeds I might have missed. I'm not positive, but it sure kind of looks like thyme. It looks really good, but I'm pretty sure it's thyme. I'm not 100% sure. But that's what it looks like to me. We'll just watch it and see. Um, nothing popped up out of those other white monstera seeds, so I ended up planting another one in here. And then in the other two, I planted up oh, some collard greens just like two, three days ago. And I've already got really big sprouts. This one too. Look at how fast they sprout in here. I think it was just two days ago. So that's how we're doing. This is amazing. I already pulled one leaf off of the dandelion and gave it to Nikolai and he went mad on it. So that's what we're doing. And I've been putting plants right next to it that enjoy are enjoying this light and humidity. I put my beautiful philodendron gigantum right next to it. And it is growing. It's got another growth point happening already. This newest leaf that was unfurling when it came has gotten big <coughs> and glossy. <clears throat> And it put out a new leaf right there. So it's loving it. This little Euphorbia Starry Night has got several new leaves coming already, sitting right here. And I moved this just so you could see the screen, but usually these little. Oh, Usually this little tray sits here and these succulents that I've got here have grown so much since they've been sitting here. I mean, they've like almost doubled in size, these little propagations and this wonky little thing. So everything that's sitting right here is going crazy for that light and that humidity. So, oh, and these cuttings usually sit right here too. And they're loving it. So this thing has been a huge success. Oh, and then this philodendron sits here again, enjoying it. And it has put out a couple of new leaves <laughs> sitting here too. And it usually does nothing. So this little area is absolutely thriving. So, so far, massive success on the arrow garden. And what did I say it was? Day 22? Yep, day 22. All right, there you have it. Okay, I have an update on my collard greens that I planted for Nikolai, and they've been planted for seven days. So in the arrow garden, this is what the collard greens look like. <clears throat> they are looking like... Full little plants. They've got their real leaves. They're nice and compact. And they've got nice little roots going on, right? Okay, so seven days planted. Now I'm going to go and show you, there's two of them in there. I'm going to go and show you the tree of collard greens that I planted just in a regular seed play tray so you can see the difference. All right, let's go look at those. 
So now I planted these the same day. Let's take the light off and take the lid off of the seed tray. These have been on heat without, so they sprouted like crazy, but look at how leggy they are. And they've just got the little, for, some of them have real leaves. And they're going crazy. Colored greens sprout super easy and super fast, like they sprouted within two days. But they're very, very leggy. So, the Arrow Garden just keeps things super fast, and they didn't sprout any faster. But they're keeping the plants really compact, and the plants themselves are growing much faster. So, success in both but a totally different looking plant. And once the plant sprouts, or once the seed sprouts, the plant takes off way faster. And that's the case in both seed trays that I planted. I have another tray that I planted, half dandelions and half collard greens. Oh, and an update on the dandelion seeds that I planted the same day as the ones I planted in the arrow garden and it got too cold I had to bring them in but they got too tall and leggy for my seed tray so I pulled them out they just they weren't doing anything I shouldn't say they got too tall and leggy they just stopped growing so I talked to Pam from Pam's Pretty Plants and she suggested maybe repotting them now I've been putting them in and out side to start seeing if that would help them but it got too cold, I had to bring them in. Look, nothing. The tallest ones are there. That's like the tallest one. And look at, that's all I've got. Planted the same day as the huge ones in the arrow garden. So once I took them out of the tray and planted them, or once they sprouted, they got to this and then did nothing. This one has like normal leaves. Those are like real dandelion leaves. <laughs> but they stopped. So when I had to bring them in, I kind of made a little greenhouse and put them under a light. Because we are having a freeze warning like for days on end. But that compared to this in the same time frame. Crazy, right? All right, so I am a huge believer in the Arrow Garden. I'm hoping this will keep us going between everything together for Nikolai and Rainbow. Rainbow takes maybe one bite of greens a day if I'm lucky, but for Nikolai, between this and if those collard greens grow outside once I transplant them and these stay going in here, I'm hoping we can maybe keep him going at least through the summer and then supplement what I have to buy from the grocery store through the winter. Okay, cool. All right, good morning. It is day 25. I'm going to pick a couple of leaves. I know these are little tiny plants, but they have very fresh greens. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Just picking a couple of greens. Oh gosh, this one's big. And Nikolai just woke up for the morning. He's just basking in the warmth. Let's see if he would like a little dandelion green. Not usually time to, he just woke up, he's cold. We'll put him here for him. Oh, and he warms up. Good morning, Nikolai. I grew those special for you. They're much better than the store-bought ones. Are you still very, very sleepy? <laughs> he 
Have your morning face on? Me too. It's only 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday. Oh, did you discover what's there? Not yet? Too sleepy? You <laughs> gotta rub your eyes. <laughs> he literally just curled out of his hole and came over to his heat spot. Well, we'll just put them there for when you wake up. Okay, I gotta go drink my coffee. Look. my finger all right well I hope you've enjoyed this very long process over the last almost month where I've shown you from beginning to end it was really rough in the beginning God, he just spit on myself again oh I don't know what's going on with that Anyway, I know it was rough in the beginning because I was so sick and I sounded like hell and I had no energy. So it made the already boring setup even more painful. But I still wanted you to see how you do it and how easy it was, but also just kind of a slow process as far as planting and popping them in and putting on the label and you know, all of that. So you didn't see all of it because, you know, it was slow um, as far as when you do your own seeds and you use the seed starter kit where you're growing your own, you have to actually take the little tops, the paper tops, and where you label your plant and where there's a hole and the seeds, the seedlings grow up through, you have to actually iron that on to the little white cages. Um, and it only takes a second. but that's the only thing that's kind of moderately a pain in the butt and also I was so sick and so tired I didn't like light the arrow garden so that it wasn't so dark when the arrow gardens bright light came on there was no way I could I, did, I barely had the energy just to even turn on my camera to film the whole process so I apologize for that but you know what are you gonna do I was sick so at least you saw the process and me sounding better and better and better through the video. And now Nikolai has tiny little baby dandelion greens. So I think I might transplant those plants outside for now and start new ones. And I might continue to do that through the summer and then just grow more in there and leave them in there once cold weather hits that way I can have more and more unless these new seeds take off but I'm just discouraged with how small those seedlings are 
so far. We'll see how they do. If they all take off, then maybe I'll just leave these in there, but we'll see. Um, but I'd like to be able to experiment more with the arrow garden with propagating and stuff, and then I can show you how it does with that. So we'll see what I do. I don't know, but I'll keep you updated on everything. And that's it. I hope you have a plantastic day. And this today is Mother's Day. If I get this out today, I hope you have a plantastic Mother's Day. I don't get to see my kids today, so it's a little bittersweet for me. I might get to see them from a distance. We'll see. I hope I do. Otherwise, it'll be FaceTime. So, I hope you have a plantastic day. Stay safe. Hold your breath around people. Remember, <laughs> talk like you're holding in a dupe, smoking a dupe, holding in your smoke around people. And then don't exhale until you leave. <sighs> All right. Bye. Oh, by the way, I don't smoke dubes. I'm calling it a dube. Because I'm clean and sober. And by the way, what is today? It's like the 8th or something like that? A couple more days, I'll be clean and sober 8 years. <laughs>